Coming to you from our GIS studios, I'm Misha Charles and this is your Midday News Brief. Consultants with Environmental Solutions Limited are on island to help St. Lucia develop a safe schools policy as part of the Model Safe Schools program which is being funded by the Caribbean Development Bank and implemented by the Caribbean Disaster Emergency Management Agency, SIDAMA. The program was designed to enhance the capacity of the Ministries of Education in Antigua and Barbuda, Barbados, Dominica, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia and St. Vincent and the Grenadines to incorporate and mainstream comprehensive disaster risk management considerations in education, sector policies, planning and operations. The consultations were part of a broad-based stakeholder consultation this week with members of the National Safe Schools Committee, which include education officers, the police, and the Ministry of Health. On Wednesday, 22nd May 2019, St. Lucia welcomed a high-level delegation from the Overseas Private Investment Corporation, OPIC, the United States government's development finance institution. The delegation was led by the OPIC Acting President and Chief Executive Officer with the purpose of exploring investment opportunities in energy and other critical sectors. Accompanied by Prime Minister the Honorable Alan Chastney and Cabinet Ministers, the delegation visited specific sites earmarked for development, including the proposed site for the southern port of Beaufort, the Castries Port and the Cul-de-Sac Bay. One of the projects was a beach beautification project at Cicero Beach in Cul-de-Sac, which was undertaken by Buckeye Terminal. The project encompassed a volleyball court, a small goal soccer pitch, and a concrete cricket pitch for sports enthusiasts. Picnic goers were gifted eight outdoor concrete tables and seats along with two barbecue pits. The beach has also been equipped with toilet facilities and receptacle bins. St. Lucia and the Republic of Cuba have renewed its cooperation agreement in the health sector for another two years. Cuban Ambassador to St. Lucia, His Excellency Alejandro Simancas Marin, and St. Lucia's Minister for Health and Wellness, Senator the Honorable Mary Isaac, recently signed the cooperation agreement with the aim of further developing St. Lucia's health system. The renewal of the agreement is expected to extend the presence of the Cuban Medical Brigade in St. Lucia. And that's it for our Midday News Brief. Thank you for tuning in.